at four in high definition. Senate candidate Joe Sestak campaigned in Pittsburgh today at Carnegie Mellon University. The Democrat talked about the economy, and he had strong words about his opponent, Republican Pat Toomey. Our political editor, John Delano, joins us live now with more. John. Well, Patrice, Joe Sestak did not hold back his criticism of Pat Toomey, repeating the theme of his television ads about us versus them. Sestak lashed into Toomey for being out with mainstream Pennsylvania values and for putting on policies he says benefit the rich, not the middle class. In short, says Sestak, Toomey is not really one of us. Calling himself the grandson of a Steve says this election is really quite simple. My values are grounded right here, grounded right here in Pennsylvania. The three-star admiral who served 31 years in the military says his background prepares him to be a good United States Senator. The military produces practical leaders who produce and seek practical solutions. Sestak says his experience is in sharp contrast to his opponent, Republican Pat Toomey. Before he went to Washington, Congressman Toomey made a fortune on Wall Street and worked for a billionaire in Hong Kong. That, says Sestak, led Toomey when in Congress to dismantle safeguards against Wall Street excesses. My opponent's extreme record is crystal clear. In Washington, he actively undermined the safeguards that kept our financial system secure since the Great Depression, all in the name of bigger tax breaks and wider profit margins for the richest of the rich. Sestak says Toomey lines up with the wealthy and big corporations. He wants corporate taxes eliminated while our taxes go up. Companies like BP, Halliburton, and Monsanto pay absolutely nothing. But the Toomey campaign says Sestak voted for the Wall Street bailout. I asked Sestak about that. Yeah, I took some tough votes because Congressman Toomey's policies were causing 700,000 people to lose their job every day. I caught the holes. We slowed it down. Now, Sestak's campaign said later that the job loss was per month, not per day. The debt of privatization of Social Security would prevent Wall Street, Sestak says, but jeopardize people's benefit checks. With just seven weeks until the end of the newsroom, I'm John Delano. Authorities say a man from Beaver was killed over the weekend by his tractor in a freak accident. The Post-Gazette says 52-year-old Richard Porter was killed Sunday when he was dragged underneath a tractor. Porter was working with his cousin to move large logs onto a trailer with the tractor in Highland Clare.